week. No week, actually. It's fucking wild card time. <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, I, f I said week before. I don't know. Alright, this is my week. Uh, again. Disregard that. This is my wild card weekend. Super wild card, apparently. That's what the NFL is calling it. Super duper triple wild card weekend. Um, first time ever you got a games on Saturday, Sunday, and then Monday you got one game. Um, the Saturday games are Eagle, I mean the Eagles. Yeah, the Eagles do play, no, they play on Sunday. Raiders, Bengals, and then uh, Bills, Patriots, which is really good. I like, good matchup there. And then you got Eagles, Buccaneers, Niners, Cowboys, big rivalry, and then you got a fucking, pretty much going to be a stinker. Oh, uh, which is the Steelers and the Chiefs, and then you got Cardinals, Rams on Monday wrapping up. So here's my uh, predictions. Um, first of all, there's a couple quarterbacks that really want to redeem their legacy, kind of, which is Matthew Stafford and Derek Carr. Hopefully one of them does and one of them doesn't. You know which one I want to lose. Um, there's a couple going into their first playoff game, like uh, Jalen Hurts. And Joe Burrow and Mac Jones. So you got three guys going into their first playoff game. Um, so yeah, and you got a franchise that hasn't won a playoff game in like 33 years or something. And then the franchise that hasn't won a playoff game in like 19 years. Close to that. So uh, hopefully it's close to 20, if you know what I mean. So let's get started with the picks. So the first game of the wild card weekend, we got the Raiders. At the Bengals, this should be a fun one. The Bengals and Raiders did play uh, this year in um, in Las Vegas, and the Bengals destroyed them. I don't see the same thing happening because it's a playoff game. They're going to be more prepared, and um, obviously the Raiders are a much better team now. But I think they take the duh L. They take the big L. I was about to say W because I don't know. They take an L. Uh, I just think Cincinnati's offense is more have, or like more powered, and Persachi's not still not a good coach. Really, I think he's a good motivator. Like obviously he didn't call the plays. It's Olsen and uh, fucking Bra uh, Bradley, Gus Bradley for the defense. I think they'll fuck up. I think uh, Taylor got this, and I think their defense is good enough to win this game. They're more explosive. Burrow and um, the offense was rested after. Um, this week, and uh, now it's a short week for the um, the Raiders. So uh, Bengals just have more time to prepare. It's at home. I think the Bengals win like 28-20. to 20. The Raiders will keep it close. I can't be unbiased and say, oh, the Raiders are going to get killed. They're going to fucking destroy, get destroyed. No, this is being real. The Raiders are going to lose this game, I think, because the Bengals are a better team overall. But this is going to be a fun game. And another fun game, a rivalry game. This is a perfect game to put on Saturday. Rivalry game, Bills, Patriots, in the fucking, I've been to that stadium before, in the fucking Ralph, Ralph Wilson Stadium, now it's new, it used to be New Era Field, and then now it's someone else, I don't fucking know, all these stadiums that I say, oh, that's the stadium I remember as, they fucking change because they get new owner, new sponsorship, that's stupid, but that's what it is, um, yeah, I got the damn Bills winning, I think they'll take the lead early and the Patriots can't come back. Uh, the Patriots will fall, will show effort. You know, last few games haven't been that good. You know, obviously they played Jacksonville, easy win, but then they lost to the Colts. You know, they, they weren't like this last few games stretch, except the Jags game has been really bad for New England. Uh, I think the Bills just take advantage of it, and they're, they're just more prepared. I think Belichick's going to keep his team in it. Their defense is still going to keep their team in it. I think they'll win. I think the Bills will win. They won't. It won't be a high scoring game, twenty four seventeen. I think that's my prediction. Um, and there's gonna be no fucking wind keeping the Bills. You know they're not gonna run the ball all the time. The Patriots. So there you go. They got for it. They need Mac to throw the ball, and I think he'll make some rookie mistakes. You know, learn from it next year. So give me the Bills. Um, Eagles bucking. Yeah, give me the Buccaneers. I think they'll win by like double digits. Jalen hurts. This is his first playoff game, and he, he didn't beat really, he didn't beat any playoff teams. The only team he beat over over 500 is the Saints. 
But, you know, it's going to add value experience to that Eagles team. I think they have to run the ball to be effective, obviously, because that's how they built the team. That's how they won all these games, um, running down the fucking throat of the opponent. I think the Buccaneers are just, they're the champs, and they don't want to get one and done, especially at home. Um, I think the Eagles keep it close, like, towards the end of the half, and then just Brady runs it out, maybe some calls in his favor. The refs save some extra flags in his pocket. I don't fucking know. Uh, Buccaneers win, I think, 30-20, to 20, you know, even score, you know. No OCD involved. This is a big game. Niners and Cowboys... Give me the Cowboys. Broncos are one interview, two of the Cowboys coordinators. Um, but I don't think that's going to be a factor in like, distracting them. Uh, but I think the Cowboys win this game. It's at home. It's in Big D, Jerry's World, wherever the fuck. And the Niners squeaked in because they just owned the fucking Rams for some reason. This last game, like seven straight wins against the Rams. Come on, LA, man. You know, I know 13 straight wins against us, against KC, you know. That's bad, but like last year, the damn Niners were trash, and they still beat you twice. <laughs> My God, um, yeah, just Shanahan has McVay's number. I think Shanahan's the better coach in this. You know, he's a better X and O's guy, but McCarthy's won it before. He's won playoff games before. He's won a Super Bowl before. I know he ain't even Rodgers. Still has, you know, the fucking grit to win the damn playoff game. I think Cowboys won it. I think they go double digits, 31-17. I think they blow out the Niners a little bit. I don't think they keep it close. The Niners have to run the ball to win this game, Debo Samuel style. Okay, so give me the Cowboys. So yeah, give me the Chiefs, 31-10. to Fucking Big Ben. Big Ben said they're going to lose this game. Like, he said, oh, we were the worst team in the playoffs. Like, come, like, what confidence, man? I heard he's bluffing. And their team actually going to come out prepared and keep it close? Or he's actually fucking being real? Like, Big Ben, man. You know, he's a legend. Hall of Famer. First ballad. Great. One of the greatest Steelers quarterbacks of all time. One of the greatest quarterbacks of all time. Um, But that's stupid what, the, what he said. Like, this, this team played their asses off. Especially their defense. Just to ha- make him get an extra game. And he says that. It's just stupid, in my opinion. Maybe he's just joking, and he wants to fire up the boys. I don't know. But I think the uh, Steelers win 31-10. to 10. I, I think they, their defense keeps that offense in check because that's all Big Ben can do, check down. You know, Najee Harris has to have a good game, and their defense has to hold Mahomes. But I, I just don't believe it. So give me the damn Chiefs. Unfortunately, I hope the fucking Steelers shock the world. But... Not going to happen. Cardinals, Rams. Stafford, hoping to get his first win. You know, he's been drafted in 2009 or 8, whatever, or 10. One of those drafts, first overall. Um, So he's hoping to get his first ever playoff win. And the Cardinals, Kyler Murray, not a good, like, they started off 7-0. They started off 7-0, and then the next 10 games, they were 3-7, so... You know, they had a great start, but these last few games, last 10, have been trash. But the Cardinals, wait, are they 11-6 maybe? I don't know. They're 11-6. I was wrong. But <laughs> I don't know. Maybe one or the other. They didn't win their division. They could have won their division um, this weekend. They could have had a home field advantage, but they blew it. They lost to the damn Seahawks team that maybe Carroll's gone, maybe Wilson's gone. But no, they rallied the boys and beat the fucking Cardinals. The Cardinals could have, they could have won the division. But anyways, Kingsbury versus McVay, um, in L.A. <sighs> Stafford's, I don't know. He hasn't hasn't won a playoff game. He's had like five playoff games and lost them all. This is Kyler's first. I think Stafford gets over the hump. Give me the Rams winning. I think it's going to be a shootout, 31-27, like game-winning touchdown. I think this is going to be a good no, – de- no one's going to play defense. They have Rams overrated defense is not going to play defense. I think it will be a shootout. This is the last game of the wild card weekend. I think they'll end in a bang. I think the Rams win. It's our house, Rams house. Give me the Rams, I guess. 
to win this game. So those are my picks. All home teams, shockingly, I, I'm not going to get them all right. If I get them all right, um, I don't know. I think, you know, out of all of them, there's one that really sticks out as a sore thumb. And that's the Chiefs and Steelers game. Like, the Bengals, that should be the after, That should have been the afternoon game on Sunday. Not the fucking... I think the Eagles and Bucks could be closer because of the injuries for the Bucks. But the just because it's Big Ben's last game, they put it on Sunday. You know, hopefully it's a good game and the Steelers keep it close. But I don't fucking... I don't see it. I hope they win the Steelers, but it's not going to happen. Mahomes is like... He's only lost twice in the playoffs. That's impressive. I hate the guy. I want him to fail, but that's impressive. Um, other than that, you guys have a good day. This will be uploaded daytime. It's 2.26 a.m., so I'll probably upload it around, like, 1. Nah, fuck it. 4. 4. I'll wait. I'll keep you waiting, man. Keep you waiting. So those are my picks for the wild card weekend, and I'll say in the next video if I get it wrong or right, whatever. I'm going to go week by week. I'm not going to predict who's my Super Bowl. Um... Teams are, yeah, I might as well do it now. Uh, Tennessee, Green Bay, who cares? I'm going for the first seeds. See ya. <laughs> Peace.